Blog Talk Radio. Hi everyone, this is Camille from sunny California, and you're listening to the Coffee Chat with Camille show, which is a podcast series that interviews various guests about real life topics for people who love to learn. go now Hello. i can hear you hi hi Vic. you're welcome something was happening it was yeah it was really uh it was it was like i don't know what was happening there was some sort of like technical issue i was actually just writing you an email saying i was on the phone but i couldn't hear you yeah. but now i can throw that just... email away <laughs> i know right i'm so happy to finally have you here i'm very excited and i enjoyed reading your reading your bio and um i was I must so share I with you quick. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Yeah, you, Are you able you to hear me? And then back on. Yes, I can hear you right now. Yeah, that's so weird. Let me it's see so something really see. quickly. Um, it's having the error again, so I can't, I, I can only hear static. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I've I haven't had this problem before. Um, so I do apologize apologize. But I wanna get through the interview and uh start the okay. question process. But I, I wanna welcome you. Thank you so much for being here. Um first question is how do you know you will succeed? How do I know I will succeed? Yes. Um, well, I have a good answer, although I don't think everybody's going to like the answer. Um, yeah. I know that I will succeed because uh, all it takes is work. And my proof of that is that everyone can succeed uh, because no matter what you're doing, um, no matter what you're doing or what type of thing you want to do to succeed, there's already somebody out there doing the same thing worse and they're a millionaire. So you can succeed too. <laughs> okay, that's excellent. And uh, what, what was it like working with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, well, uh, it was it, it was kind of scary for me because I think I think that was like my it was my first giant movie, um, and so. Working with Arnold Schwarzenegger was very strange, just because like I had never been in that world before, and so uh, and so everyone was nice, everyone was wonderful, but the only problem that I had was my own anxiety and fear about suddenly being thrust from you know being like a local comedian into like a, a giant movie, and so the 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 situation was fine, but my uh, feeling about it was the thing that was the problem. I, I think it was my own anxiety. I don't know if I told, I don't know if you know this, but I have like a lot of anxiety. I have a therapist who I talk to weekly about it. And so, uh, but back then it was not as, uh, as now. 
Yes. Wow. Yeah, I understand. I have it as well. And I, I stay in groups. Hello. Are you there? Yeah. Are you able to hear me? <laughs> Did it go out again? Hello? Hello? I just don't, I don't know what's happening, but, oh, wait, let's try, let's try this way. Are you able to hear me now? Hello, Victor? No, I still can't hear me. Hmm. I don't know why not. Let's see here. Um... <clears throat> Sorry, listeners. I, for some reason, we're having a pretty uh, rough connection. I'm not sure why. Hello? Hello? Hi, Victor. Can you hear me? Victor? Hi. Victor, can you hear me? I just don't get what's going on. But Okay. Let me see. Yeah, there's not. Ah. Okay, hello? Yeah, the call I dropped. Yes, I did drop. It seems to me we have very... Well, it looks like we didn't really have the best connection. So, we may just have to reschedule our interview. Let me see. Hello. 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 Hi, Victor. Hello. Can you hear me better? Uh, yes. I can. <laughs> so we might have had just a bad, bad connection. But it's okay. Uh, um, I seem to have, like, full connection in my house, though. I mean. Me too. That's, that's what's making this so strange. Uh, that's why I said I've never had it happen before. But, um. But, uh, is it okay if I move on to the next question, which is, sure. what is it like working with Eddie Murphy? Um, that was a lot. Working with Eddie Murphy was a lot of fun. I, it was the first time that I was on a big movie that had like a big uh, internal set. I think it was like a quarter mile, a square, or a quarter mile square uh, indoor set of a fake city. And I've never been on anything like that before. I got to shoot laser guns. I get to meet, I get to shoot laser guns and drive spaceships and shoot a rocket launcher. What more could you ask for as a young artist? And so I just was having a blast. And then Eddie Murphy was actually very nice to me because I was a stand-up. And so when he found out I was a stand-up, he was like very talkative and super nice. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And then what was the first thing that you directed? The first thing that I directed, um, I guess the first thing that I directed that was of note was a short film that I did that was on Comedy Central. And um, uh, I I did a short film. It starred uh, Colton Dunn, who is in uh, the TV show. He was in the he's actually on the TV show now. I think it's called The Recruit on Netflix. And then previously. Mm -hmm. But he was like a um, he was like a regular on a, a superstore, and so, but he is my friend, and so like we did a short film together, and also it starred Jamie Dinbo, who is in Kevin Can Go F Himself, that TV show, <laughs> and so uh, it was them, it was them as a couple making an answering machine message, and and eventually I got it uh, licensed to Comedy Central. 
I think the the most interesting interesting thing about that was at the time I made the movie for really about a hundred dollars, but when I licensed it to Comedy Central, they paid me ten thousand dollars, and so I was just like, whoa, because it was like the first thing that I did that really sold to anybody, and I was like, I didn't I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> It's wonderful. Oh, wow. And then, um, can you please tell me the story of how you stole your prom date? Um, sure. Uh, well, when I was a teenager, I went to prom. I wanted to go to prom with this girl named Katie, but her parents did not know that I was black when I first asked her. And so they said it was fine. But then later on, they were like, they found out that I was black. And then they're like, no. But then I, instead of giving up on her, I had one of my whitest friends show up to her door and take pictures with her and her family. And then when she came outside, we switched cummerbunds back and I took her to prom. <laughs> oh, that's a cute story. Oh, that's a cute wow. Story. Um, and then, um, 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 that's, um, that's actually the last question, but I... I did want to ask you if you could please just tell us about your your background, um, personal background, and your uh, professional background. Well, uh, my personal background is that I am from Minneapolis. Um, I grew up in the South, but then when I was a teenager, I moved up to Minneapolis with my family. And then I moved to New York uh, in, like, 1997. And I've been here uh, for 25 years trying to make it. And um, and I've had some success. Like, I've been on, you know, numerous, I guess, TV shows and you know, uh, movies and things like that. I'm not a household name, I'm, but I'm basically, like, a working artist, pretty much, uh, mm-hmm. which there's a lot of out there. And yeah. and uh, that has led me to where I am today, which is really um, working with my own like media company. Okay, outstanding. And then um, I saw I think a, a coloring book that you're that you're selling, and uh, I think it deals with race. Yeah, it's called the Anti-Racism Activity Book. Yes, and I just want to know what was the the background to you um, producing this really cute, very serious topic, but it's it's done in such a cute way, um, the coloring book. That actually, that actually came. Uh, I, I made that originally because it was a continuation of some of the work that I was doing on Instagram. Um, so when George Floyd was murdered. I made an I made a cartoon for the New Yorker, went viral online and mm-hmm. it was shared by people like mm-hmm. Quest it was shared by people like Questlove and Viola Davis. And then I continued to do cartoons and that eventually uh led me to making the anti racism activity book as like a highlights magazine style book that deals with race, uh but talks about it in a way where people can understand it. And then mm-hmm. so so it's it's funny, even though it's about a serious subject. And if if people want to buy it, which they should because it's awesome, go to antiracism dot online, and then you can find it, or just search for it on uh, Amazon because it's available there too. Okay, that is excellent. I want to thank you so much, even though we had some technical difficulties. Um, I want to thank you for coming on to my show. I've been excited since last year <laughs> um, that, mm-hmm. to, to know that you were going to be here. And um, I really appreciate you. I appreciate all that you do. And bye for now. And what? I'm sorry? Bye for now. <laughs> I would say okay. goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Victor. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, everyone. That was the wonderful Victor Vernis Renato Renardo, excuse me. And um as I told you and I told him, I was so thankful to have him on and appear. And unfortunately we had a 
as as you all have heard, a little bit of a, a uh, I think it was just a bad connection, maybe. Um, and that, that I think that has actually happened once before, but not for such a long period of time. Um, so I hope that, that um, it didn't mess with too much the integrity of the interview, because um, Victor is a really amazing person, and he's accomplished so much. Um, and when I re- re- read his accolades or his um, bio, it's so wonderfully impressive. And um, I had other questions, but I said, you know, hopefully I can book another interview with them, and then I'd be able to ask further question questions about his career, because um, I do have more questions, actually. All right, so I hope that you guys are doing great on this Sunday. I'm going to reread Victor's, um, what he wrote on his profile very quickly. And uh, let me fully read the biography also because because I didn't have a chance to finish. Um, Comics that are created by Victor have appeared in The New Yorker and Mad Magazine. Victor's writing work includes being a writer for the Eric Andre and Low Low Real Howery film Bat Trip, um, Marvel Comics Vice, Salon and co-authoring a screenplay with comics legend Stan Lee. Victor has appeared in many recognizable shows and movies such as Late Night with Conan O'Brien, Jimmy Kimmel Live, Adult Swim, and My Name is Earl, as well as in films with Arnold Schwarzenegger, End of Days, Eddie Murphy, The Adventures of Pluto Nash, and Warner Hosworth. Her, her such, sorry, Julian Donkey Boy. Victor serves as an adjunct professor of filmmaking at Ryder University. Okay, and he's also um, again left his link wikilisten.com. And at Wikilisten is a new daily podcast where Victor Leonardo, Conan, Conan O'Brien, um, Jimmy Kimmel Live and Rachel Teichman read a Wikipedia page every day and provide commentary. Isn't that neat? I think that's so cool. Actually, I'm going to listen to that myself. (laughs) Um, And I hope that you do too. The questions that I asked um, Victor were, how did, how did, uh, how did he succeed? How did he know that he would succeed? What was it like for him working with Arnold Schwarzenegger? What is it like for him to work with Eddie Murphy? What was the first thing that he directed? And tell us a short story of how he stole his prom date. That was a very cute story. And the, I, um, oops, I'm not going to go there. I apologize. And then he says, um, there's a, a small paragraph it's about Victor even a little bit more. It says, I am a black person with albinoism. Albinoism. I hope I say that correctly. Who was also born legally blind. I have maneuvered the world of entertainment and entrepreneurship and excelled in places that were not built for me. And boy, has he ever excelled. It looks like those places were, in fact, built for him. <laughs> because he... Um, and he's really a very in- inspiring person, and uh, I did. I waited since last year to have him on the podcast, and I'm a little bit um, uh, disappointed with the system here. Um, not sure why I wasn't able to uh, hear him clearly, but what I did hear was that Victor was on the line and engaged and shared himself with us. And I appreciate it because he, again, has done some wonderful things in his career and truly is an inspiration. Okay, so for now, I think I'm going to end on that note that Victor Bernardo is an inspiration. Please check him out, okay? And sometimes when we're out in this world and we think that we cannot make it and we can't do things, he just gave you the blueprint for how you can, in fact, su- succeed and 
the pragmatic, logical way that he was thinking about it, you know? And so um, <laughs> I like that $100 turns to $10,000, right? So, um, again, that was Victor Bernardo. And thank you so much for listening to us on Coffee Chat coffee chat with me Camille also I want to um, let you guys know that I'm still trying to pin down a time that I can come on daily that everyone can can depend on hey this is when I'm going to listen to coffee chat with Camille because I am seeing that my audience or my listeners are in fact global I think I just added on um, let's see there was Brazil, well, of course, the United States, hello, U.S. listeners throughout the country. Um, then, let's see, then there's Can- Canada, and then Brazil, and who's next? Oh, Romania, which was really pretty cool. Romania, and then um, France, Germany, United Kingdom or UK. I hear some dog just uh, barking hysterically. They're around. Anyway, and I have my own pets. I have two uh, two dogs I have that I, I received as a Mother's Day gift. So I have Chorkies. They are part Chihuahua and part Yorkshire Terrier. And I actually absolutely love um Chihuahuas, they're the smallest dog in the world, and I like very much Yorkshire Terriers. But so I, I have this uh, designer, these two little designers, and they designer dogs. That's what they're considered, um, and they were breeded here in U.S. in the 90s. And so um, their brother and sister, Aiko and Midori, are my pet's names. Aiko, because she's beloved. She's so lovely. It's such a loving little presence and my very first female dog. And then um, my boy, his name is Midori. <laughs> he is recessive all the way through. He's adorable. He has these pretty little greenish, yellowish, changing color eyes. So they're close to green. So Midori in Japanese means green. It has other definitions, but that's why I named him Midori. And he's older than his little sister. So anyway, but they keep me comp- they keep me company. And then I have a retriever. He isn't golden. He's in fact cinnamon. And um he is <laughs> older and sweet. He's very sweet. And I'll tell about him some other time. Now, back to the countries, as I was saying. Um, the countries that are I'm, I'm apparently receiving listeners is, uh, I think I said Brazil, and then UK, France, Romania, Germany. And then over in Asia, I have South Korea. Hello, South Koreans. And Japan, which was very surprising to me, and because I have such an, uh, um, I don't know if I should say this, but I, I do have an affinity for Japanese men in particular, um, and the culture of J- Japan is very influential in my artwork. So I will say this, um, um, that I'm thankful to all of my listeners. Oh, I think it's it's not Peru because I'm thinking South America, but South America, Peru is northern. There's another tiny, I believe it's, I want to say Bolivia, but I think those are where my new listeners are, and I want to say hello. I want to say hello to you all. Thank you so much for downloading or listening to my show, and I'm going to get it um, as I stated before at a at a prime time where you all can listen. And I'm also working on the YouTube channel, which is quite a bit of work because I also have an art show on there. So I will be back. Um, I'm not sure what the, 
Okay, well, can't announce that right now. All right, bye for now, everyone. Thank you again for listening to Coffee Chat with Camille. You can find us at coffeechatwithcamille.com to listen to the episodes. And we're on all streaming um, platforms, okay, including Spotify and Apple. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great Sunday. Bye for now.